Kantanagar Temple an 18th century brick temple, established in the peaceful island hamlet of Kantanagar, Kantanagar, about 12 miles north of Dinaj town, and a few mile west of Dinaj Tetulia Highway throughout the Tapa River. It has won eminence as an first-rate monument in Bengal for its excellent terracotta embellishment. This Nava Ratna or Nine Spider Hindu temple, now stripped off its usual nine spires atop its corners for the duration of the devastating earthquake of 1897, reveals the exuberance of terracotta artwork at its exceptional in Bangladesh. The confusion concerning the date of its building can be settled from the report of a chronograph within the Sanskrit stone inscription, constant on the northeast nook plinth of the temple. It documents that Maharaja Pranath of Dinajpur started out its building about 1722. His adopted son Maharaja Ramnath completed it. In Sharka Technology 1674, 1752 advert, to be able to propitiate the consort of Rukmini in success of his father's desire. Nonetheless, in the early 20th century Maharaja Girijanath Bahadur restored it substantially, except for the missing nine spires. This fantastic pyramidal temple rose in three receding terraces and used to be crowned with nine ornamental spires or atnas, jewels, on the nook of the three terraces which imparted to it an appearance of enormous wraith or an ornate chariot resting on excessive plinth. It used to be provided with arched openings on all four facets with the intention to allow devotees to peer the deity enshrined inside from all instructional materials. The 15.84 square kilometers temple stands in the center of an rectangular courtroom, 73.15 meters 36.57 meters, enclosed by using a pilgrim shed with a corrugated tin roof. Its principal fabric pivots around a nuclear rectangular mobile phone, 3. 4 meters, capturing as much as a height of about 15.24 meters above its 1.005 meters excessive plinth of stone, believed to work worried from the old ruins of Banagar close Gangarambur and Dinajar. Three different rectangular outer shells in graded heights have been delivered to it, as so much to variegate the plan as to make stronger the important cells which lift atop a colossal tower. The other eight ornamental towers, now lacking, occupied the eight roof corners of diminished two studies. The curved cornice of the ground floor, sharply drooping on the corners, up would push in the center to a peak of 7.62 m from the plinth whilst that of the primary flooring rises to 4.56 meters and that of the second flooring to 1.83 m. There are small square cells at each and every of the four corners of the bottom and first flooring for assisting the heavy load of the ornate octagonal corner towers above. The temple comprises four rectangular corridors on the ground floor around the prayer chamber measuring 9.17 meters times 1.53 m and 4.57 m times 1.22 meters. On the ground flooring, there are three multi-cuspid arched entrances on each aspect, each and every separated by two richly decorated brick pillars. The number of arched doorways in the ground ground disposed in its four shells is 21, that of the primary floor is 27. The lowered second flooring has handiest three entrance doorways and three windows. A slender strip of staircase, only 0.70 meters broad, built into the western second corridor, winds up by means of its darky passage to the first, second, and third studies. A small derelict single spider temple, now overgrown with rank vegetation, stands about 100 yards north of the essential temple beyond the pilgrim shed, which is believed to have been erected by using Maharaja Pranath in 1704 the place he at the beginning hooked up the Krishna icon, brought from Brindaban. The icon was once later transferred to the Nava Ratna temple when completed. It's now an abandoned shrine. It's a 16-sided temple rising to a top of about 12.19 meters and provided with a multi-cuspid arched entrance on the south. Terracotta ornament every on-hand inch of its wall floor from the bottom to the crest of its three reports, both inside and out, pulsates with a mighty profusion of figured and floral art in unbroken succession. 
the massive array of field matter incorporate the studies of the Mahabharata, Mahabharata, and the Ramayana, Ramayana, the exploits of Krishna, and a series of incredibly fascinating modern-day social scenes depicting the favorite pastimes of the landed aristocracy. The remarkable profusion, delicacy of modeling, and the beauty of its carefully integrated friezes have seldom been surpassed via any mural art of its type in Bengal. Nonetheless, even in its bewildering abundance of diverse motifs, you can notice a cautiously organized thematic scheme in the composition of subject matters at unique phases and spaces on the temple wall.